What is going on, Rosano Nation, Raptors Nation? It's your host, Luca Rosano, back with another video. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I am pumped. I'm excited to say that we may be getting some NBA basketball very, very soon. There's been a lot of talk on NBA Twitter, coming out from NBA sources, coming from news outlets, that the NBA is nearing a return. And for the first time since this whole shutdown happened, we actually got some dates to look forward to. Yes, it's been said by Mark Stein in particular that many around the league have been buzzing about the same rough time frame described in this tweet. The practices would launch one month from now with an NBA season resumption date in the July 15th range. So the NBA could be coming back around July 15th. And to make matters even more interesting, this morning, this was said. Brian Windhorst said this morning that there's a really good chance that the NBA will elect to go with the 16-team playoff and no regular season, leaving the possibility for seeding the teams 1 through 16. And that is the concept of today's Video. We're going to run with the notion that the NBA comes back middle of July. There's no regular season. We jump right into the playoffs and we see something we have never seen before in NBA playoff history. And that is a 1 through 16 NBA playoff bracket. And we are going to be making some predictions in this video. And we will see who will win the championship if this format does in fact happen with the current 16 playoff teams in the NBA playoff picture. Before we get right into it, guys, please drop a like on today's video. Let's get the 100 plus likes. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're almost at 12K subs. Let's get there after today's video. Hit post notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. Comment with your picks down below. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please share it because it does go a long way. And lastly, keep connected with me on social media. Hit me up in the DMs anytime you guys want to talk basketball. So this would be the proposed 16-team playoff if there is, in fact, no regular season and we jump right into the playoffs with this format. And it looks something like this. Very interesting. On one side, you would have the Bucks taking on the Magic, OKC taking on Miami, Boston taking on Philly, Dallas taking on the Clippers in the first round. And then on the other side of the bracket, you'll have the Lakers taking on the Nets, Rockets, Jazz, Nuggets, Pacers, and the Toronto Raptors would be the three seed. They would take on John Morant, Jonas Valanciunas, and the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, looking at this, my initial reaction is... I'm all for this, guys. This would be a cool concept. This creates very interesting matchups, and you don't get the traditional Western Conference matchups and Eastern Conference matchups. This creates a scenario where now all of a sudden in the playoffs, you got an Eastern Conference team taking on a Western Conference team in the first round, as we see here with the Raptors taking on the Grizzlies. So I really am in favor of this format, and I really think that the NBA should do this because A, it would save a lot of time. B, it pretty much makes for intrigue when talking about, you know, trying to crown a champion. And C, you can wrap everything up around a reasonable time. And I don't even think you would have to shorten playoff series if you get right into this format around that mid-July timeline. So, Guys, we're not only going to speculate, we're actually going to make some picks, and we're going to use this current bracket, and we will crown our 2020 NBA champion. I'm super excited to do this. This is good content, people. Let's begin, and we're going to start actually on the left side of the bracket. We're going to start with the Bucks taking on the Orlando Magic. What do I see happening here? There's not going to be any March Madness upset of the 16 to throwing in the 1. The Bucks are going to take care of business. They're going to sweep the Magic. I got the Bucks moving on to the next round. 
Who will they play? We got the Thunder taking on the Heat, a 9 versus 8 matchup. This would be a very, very interesting matchup. OKC, a team that nobody expected to even be in the playoff picture, taking on a very good Heat team that does have enough to make it to a final. I think the Heat take this series, though. They would win in six. I'm going to give the Thunder two games. I think this Thunder team would bring their A game in this one. And that means we would have the Bucks and the Heat in the second round. All right, lower half the bracket now. We got an exciting matchup. Celtics, Sixers, first round of the playoffs. Oh, boy. This would be intense. I got the Celtics, though, winning the series in six games. Celtics usually have the Sixers number, and I just really like what the Celtics had going on before the break. Uh, I think they would take care of business against Philly, and we don't even know the health status of Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Remember, they were missing some time before the whole pandemic happened. But it is interesting to note that a lot of these teams, I mean, you would assume that they would be healthy with all this time off. So I know we could be seeing teams with all their players, but still... I'm going to go with the team here in the Celtics that did show me just a little bit more before the pandemic hit. So I got the Celtics moving on. And they would play the Los Angeles Clippers. I think this would be a phenomenal matchup, guys. Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. That upstart team taking on the Clippers. I honestly think this would go to six, seven games. You know, you know what? I'll give... The Mavericks, the benefit of the doubt here. I say they push the Clippers to the brink of elimination, and the Clippers win this in seven. I mean, this would be one of the best first-round playoff matchups. And remember, guys, there would be no home court advantage in these matchups. So a game seven wouldn't necessarily mean that, you know, the, the favorite, the team that would have home court advantage, wouldn't necessarily have an advantage because there's no home court in any of these playoff matches. That's going to set up Bucks, Heat, Celtics, Clippers. Who do I got winning that Bucks Heat matchup? I think this will be another very very good matchup, guys. And I said many times before, for those of you who have been following me for a long time, I honestly believe that the Heat could take it to the Bucks in a seven-game series. And it's interesting to note, again, no home court advantage factor here. So this would be even playing field for the Heat and the Bucks. I was super tempted to take the Heat here, but I will say the Bucks win this series. It will go to a Game 7. And uh, yeah, Milwaukee will just get out of this one alive. Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, that entire Heat team. I mean, that is a good squad. And who knows? Maybe Giannis will realize how good of a team the Heat are. And maybe he joins the Heat in 2021. I know there's so many teams in the running for Giannis, uh, the Giannis sweepstakes. So this is a good Heat team. They're going to challenge Milwaukee. But I'll put some respect on the Bucks, who were, you know, on pace for winning 70 games. I think they're going to win this series and they will move on to the conference finals. And then who will they meet? Well, we're going to have another fantastic showdown in the bottom of the bracket. The four seed Clippers taking on the fifth seed Celtics. I think the Clippers are going to have a much easier time with the Celtics than they would have with the Mavericks. They're going to beat the Celtics in six games. Uh, I just think the Clippers are just one of the best teams in the league, guys. You know how I feel about this team. And you know what? I think all that time off is going to really do wonders for Kawhi, Paul George. And let's not forget some of the moves this Clippers team made before the deadline. This is as deep, as versatile of a team that you will find so talented on both sides of the ball. For as good uh, as the Celtics are and for as high as I'm on the Celtics in terms of what they can do and so much young talent they have in Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, etc., etc. I just can't see the Clippers losing here to Boston. So I'm going to have the Clippers moving on, and what a showdown. Bucks, Clippers, sign me up. Who wins this one? It would be a fantastic showdown, but I got the Clippers. Give me the Los Angeles Clippers. In six games, yes, I said six games, I think they're going to be too much for Milwaukee to handle. And again, no home court advantage, going to hurt the Bucks here. And uh, give me gamers. Again, I'm riding with Kawhi Leonard all postseason here, guys. Paul George, 
Uh, you know, obviously Pat Beverly, Montrell's Harrell, he's coming into a contract here. He's going to be playing his behind off Lou Will. The Clippers are deadly. They can be used so many different ways. And I just don't think Milwaukee will have enough help here, especially in the series uh, for Giannis. And, and Giannis can only go so far on his own. And this is going to be the moment where Giannis thinks to himself, damn, I might have to leave. I, I probably should have leave because I need more help. I mean, no disrespect to, you know, the Eric Bledsoe's of the world and uh, the Dante DiVincenzo's of the world and the Lopez of the world. But Giannis needs another legitimate teammate in order to win a chip, especially in today's NBA. And this is going to be the point in which he realizes that. So Clippers move on to the NBA Finals. That wraps up an exciting one side of the bracket. Let's see now who the Clippers will meet in the NBA Finals. And we're going to start here with the Lakers taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Assuming there's no Kyrie, no KD. Give me the Lakers in four games, guys. They're going to sweep the Nets. And uh, who will they meet in the second round? Rockets, Jazz. This is going to be a really good series. Uh, I always said, though, the Rockets, in my opinion, are good enough to at least win around in the playoffs. I think James Harden and Russell Westbrook not playing for so long. They're going to explode in this series. They're going to absolutely want to give it their all. They're going to win this series. It will go to six games. Uh, so that will give us Lakers and Rockets at the top of the bracket. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the bracket here. Nuggets and Pacers. Again, we don't know health statuses here of certain players. Uh, Victor Oladipo, not confident that he would be 100% here. So that being said, I got to go with Jokic and Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets. They played some solid basketball before the pandemic hit. I would like the Nuggets here uh, in five games. I think they actually make light work of the Pacers. Again, we don't know uh, if we would even see Oladipo in this series. And then we got the Raptors taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Don't sleep on the Grizzlies, guys. I know a lot of Raptors fans might be thinking, you know, Raps in four here. I can honestly see Memphis even pushing the envelope here to a sixth game. Again, the Raptors are one of the best teams in all of basketball when it comes to home court advantage. There's no home court element here. So the Raptors can, in fact, have a tough time with the Grizzlies. I'll say the Raptors win this series in five games just because the Raptors would be fully rested here. And that's something that they haven't said all season long. So the pandemic, the, the, uh, you know, the suspension of the season is actually an advantage for the Raptors. They're going to have all their guys back at 100%, so I think they're going to have a very good opening series. I'll give the Raptors the series win in five. All right, back to the top of the bracket. Lakers, Rockets, another phenomenal matchup on paper, but I got to go with the Lakers. They're going to win this series in five. Yes, I'm only going to give the Rockets one game. I like the Clippers. The Lakers are so versatile, so deep. And guys, no one's talking about it, but LeBron James, I mean, he's had all this time off to rest his body. We are going to see a LeBron James that we may have never seen before, especially after LeBron watching The Last Dance. You really think he's not going to come out playing motivated ball, that he doesn't want people to talk about him in this playoff series like they have been talking about Jordan for the last couple of months here. LeBron, he ain't taking no prisoners. He's going to come out here. He and AD are going to absolutely explode. They're going to give the Rockets too many problems. They win that series in five games to advance to the conference finals. All right, back to the bottom of the bracket. Another intriguing series, Nuggets and Raptors. This could go either way, guys. Again, no home court element. Um, but you know what? Assuming that the Raptors are 100% healthy, that means Marcus Gasol is back, and that means Marcus Gasol bullying Jokic. I think they're going to eliminate Jokic in this series, and the Nuggets simply don't have enough uh, a supporting help to beat a full, rested, deep Raptors squad. So I got the Raptors winning this series in six games. They beat the Nuggets. And get your popcorn out, kids. That would give us the Lakers and Raptors in the conference finals. The Raptors meet LeBron James again. But this time, there's no LeBronto jokes because this wouldn't be played in Toronto. This wouldn't even be played in LA. This would be... A fantastic series. And remember, guys, the Raptors did beat the Lakers when they were shorthanded at the start of the season in November. This Raptors team would give the Lakers a run for their money here. But 
I mean, I got to be realistic here, guys. I, I Going back to what I said before of rest, LeBron James, that Lakers team clicking on all cylinders. They had the number one seed in the West. I just think the Lakers, you know, they're, they're going to come out here playing inspired basketball, especially knowing that they have a chance to meet the Clippers in the final. Um, yeah, I'm going to have the Lakers winning the series, guys. I think LeBron James has the Raptors number, and it's going to show here once again. And the lack of home court for the Raptors is really going to hurt them in a type of series like this. I'm actually going to go with the Lakers in six games. But hey, at least the Raptors would make it back to a conference finals. They would play against LeBron. They would play against a battle-tested championship caliber team in a year where a lot of people don't even have the Raptors making the damn playoffs. So that would be a win overall uh, for this Raptors season if they could in fact make it to the conference finals here and even if they were to lose against the Lakers which I have happened in this spot no shame no need to feel sorry about yourself I mean that is impressive to say the least especially given all the circumstances so I got the Lakers winning the series nonetheless though in six games and that would give us an all LA final showdown it's the series we all wanted to see before the pandemic struck it's the series we've been talking about since last offseason. It's the series that the entire world wants to see. Lakers, Clippers, no home court, no nothing, neutral ground site. Who wins it? I ain't backing down on my original prediction. I don't care of the circumstances. I don't care about the suspension of the season, the time off, etc., etc. I'm a man of my word. I've been saying since day one, Clippers, Kawhi Leonard will get it done. Kawhi Leonard upstages LeBron once again in the final stage, and the Clippers win this series in seven. It's going to go the distance. It's going to go the distance, and in that final game, Kawhi Leonard is going to play some MJ-esque basketball, and after he captures another championship, he helps the Clippers win their first ever championship. He wins finals MVP. We're going to start talking about Kawhi Leonard as a serious top 10 player uh, of all time and a chance to continue to move up the rankings. So I got the Clippers winning the championship in this 16-team playoff with no regular season. That was a ton of fun, guys. Let me know what you think of all my picks. Hit me up in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my bracket? Do you disagree with my bracket? The floor is yours. Let me know. I really hope the NBA does this. Again, it's something new. It's something fresh. It's something innovative. And given the time constraint of everything going on in the world right now, this makes the most sense. So we will see. It would give basketball fans a chance to see some very good uh, matchups that we would not have been given in any other year. So I hope they do this. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think again. And uh, I will have another video out on Wednesday focusing more on the Raptors playoff chances. Again, the Raptors come into this, guys, the defending champs. They're going to have a good shot to repeat. So I'll have more of an analysis on the Raptors playoff chances in my video on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I got another special guest of the Luca Rosano Show. So please, guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Keep it locked and loaded on this channel. This is your best source of basketball NBA content. That's it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. And remember, be great and stay blessed. Peace.